This video explains how to adjust valves on a single cylinder Tecumseh engine. First start by removing the spark plug wire, finding the correct spark plug socket and removing the spark plug from the cylinder. Once you've completed that, next is removing the valve cover. To remove the valve cover you need to remove the four valve cover bolts. I've already loosened them off. Make sure you find the correct size socket for the outside and or Torx bit that fits correctly on the inside. With the spark plug and the valve cover removed, place the spark plug inside the valve cover as well as the four valve cover bolts. That way you don't lose them. Keep them on the bench. You'll notice now that with the spark plug removed it's very easy to turn the engine over just by hand by rotating the crankshaft. What you want to do to start this assignment is find where top dead center is. Top dead center is a point in which both valves are closed and are not activated by the push rods. So as I rotate the engine you can see that the push rods move up and down and the rocker arm tips and starts to push and open a valve. We want to find that spot where neither valve is being adjusted or neither valve is being pushed on. So right there, we're just at the spot where the piston is close to top dead center. The next thing you can do to check is take a small screwdriver, or in this case, Allen key, rest it inside the spark plug hole against the piston, and you can rotate it until it stops moving up and down. That will help you find top dead center. Once you've done that, stop, pause the video, and ask Mr. Blakely for his feeler gauge set so that you can check the clearance in between the top of the rocker arm and the top of the valve. Using our shop Steric feeler gauge set, select through until you find the correct size that fits in between the top of the valve and the top of the rocker arm. You should be able to insert the valve feeler gauge in between the two without having to force it. This particular size I've chosen goes in about halfway but then gets stuck. That means that this size is too large and does not fit. And if you read the scale, which may be hard for the camera to see, it's 0 .044, so that is four thousandths of an inch. Moving back one size, the next feeler gauge I can try is 0 .003, which is three thousandths of an inch. And it fits a little better, but it's still a bit snug. So I'm going to move down from that to a point zero zero two five, which is just slightly smaller. And we're going to try again. It's closer, but it still doesn't quite fit that well. So just changing the camera angle a bit and holding the tool at a different direction. You can now see that going straight in to the rocker. It's much easier for the tool to fit. So the point zero zero two five fits quite easily in both the intake valve and the exhaust valve. So continue to go up one size at a time until you find the feeler gauge that fits just snug with a little bit of friction, but you don't have to force in between the two rockers. Once you've found your two sizes and you know which is the intake valve and which is the exhaust valve, put the engine back together, open up a Google, Google Doc in your class folder and record the sizes of the valve clearance for both the intake valve and the exhaust valve. 